Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to introduce to you an Italian niche perfume house that is called Cristiana Bellotti. And I came across this perfume house when I was at Accents and I met Cristiana, the founder of this brand. She's a very lovely Italian lady and her assistant, she showed me all the fragrances, told me the stories behind them and the notes and I tried them all and she was so sweet, she gave me the samples and in this video I want to share with you my thoughts on the perfumes from this brand. So yeah, let's just jump into this video and I just wanted to tell you a few words about Christiana. She was born in the family where love of literature, poetry and painting were the essential things um, for, of their life and uh, Christiana decided to create really high quality niche perfumes and she has six fragrances in her collection and they are named after, uh, after first three letters of her name and first three letters of her surname. So I have no particular order going for the sense, I just want to start with the first fragrance that is called L. And L is looking like this. I have a sample of it and I really like that on the back we get uh, all the notes that the fragrance features. So, L is a really nice floral, woody and musky in the dry down scent. It opens with essential notes of pink pepper, damask rose and also geranium as well as jasmine and then the fragrance gets really musky and woody with a very flattering accord of wood. And wood doesn't make the sound necessarily woody or woody or animalic, it just uh, brings life to it. And I will also read you the other notes that this appearance features. So other notes are vetiva, citron wood and sandalwood and also white musk, ambergris and vanilla. So. I associate this ferns with a wife of millionaire and just for the reason because you know she wears the most beautiful dresses, the most amazing hairstyles and of course she needs to smell very uh, luxurious and this is a very luxurious scent. So if you're kind of that woman who really looks for something luxurious then I think that will be the scent for you. And the next scent that I want to talk about is called R. And R I just um, really like because it is oriental, musky and um, elegant scent. I adore a rich aphrodisiac scent of Ylang Ylang in it. And Ylang Ylang is a highly valued um, essence both in perfumery for the power of its delicate um, flowery note as well as in the aromatherapy for its action on the nervous system um, because it um, derive, uh, drives um, us from stress. And this perfume also features another quite strong uh, floral note of jasmine but thanks god it is not that strong so it doesn't overpower you with its um, flowery scent because I'm very very um, careful with jasmine in the perfumery because yeah it can be too much for me and also our features the notes of um, rose incense, vetiva, patchouli, magnolia, jasmine, white musk and amber and I just want to show you how the fragrances look um, like in the real life. The um, design of the bottles is amazing and they have this huge, you know, like top thing on the top. It's amazing. Perfumes are very luxurious as well as the scents. So, well, let's move on to the next scent that is called C. And C is for me perfume that has gray, uh, grace and refinement. It opens with a bouquet of jasmine as well as peony flowers and then um, it has also citrusy bergamot and juicy lemon. 
After a few minutes the scent gets uh, woody and slightly balsamic with notes of vetiva, um, cedar, sandalwood and a really generous potion of patchouli. Uh, the dry down is very warm and slightly um, maybe musky with gentle notes of musk, ambergris and vanilla. A hint of incense um, adds, um, just it brings all the notes together without making the scent um, smoky. It leaves it nice, aromatic, woody and very gentle. So, what I like about this fragrance is it features quite a few feminine notes, but it is a truly unisex perfume that will be amazing for every season. In the winter it will warm you up and in the summer it will somehow cool you down. And it is also very, very easy and pleasant scent to wear, so it will be perfect for spring and autumn. Well, the next perfume is called E and E is the scent for all lovers of sweet, floral and fruity fragrances out there. On me, it is a truly summery perfume that opens with uh, that opens with notes of freshly squeezed sweet orange, uh, bergamot, um, uh, lemon, exotic pineapple, and black currant. But the main role in this fragrance uh, play flowers. Amazing notes of lotus orange blossom, halotrop, jasmine and sandalwood just fill this fragrance with a delightful floral aroma and base notes of musk, ambergris and vanilla add gourmand touch to it, beautifully complementing uh, flowery notes. And I think that this is a perfect summer perfume. It is so sweet and exotic, flowery and this is the fragrance uh, for people who really enjoy playful scents. Well, the next perfume uh, is called B. This is B and this one is different from all the other ones. Uh, when I was at Accents and tried um, out all the fragrances for the first time, B was the one that stood out the most to me and I really like a beautiful sweetness in the opening that comes from dates in the combination with labdanum, leather and uh, sweet orange. After that the fragrance gets really smoky. And um, I also want to read you um, other notes that this fragrance features. So it features um, uh, head notes are Sicilian sweet orange, date, incense and rock rose. Hot notes are wood, patchouli, citron wood and ylang ylang. And base notes are amber, ambrette seed, tonka bean and vanilla bean. So I want to add one more thing. For person, as a person who doesn't drink um, alcohol, B is like a sip of really good quality cognac. It gets me immediately warm and drunk. And also I want to say that B is one of the best Woody, woody and smoky fragrances for men. This is a truly unisex perfume. It will be beautiful on the woman. However, I would uh, wear B in the night time. I have no problems with wearing smoky, incensey, woody scents in the morning or throughout the day. But with this particular uh, scent, I would go, you know, like in the evening because it has something intimate and mysterious to it. That's why I prefer. Um, I would prefer to wear it um, in the night time. So the last but not least fragrance that I want to talk about is called I, and this is amazing, rich, floral, oriental, a little bit powdery scent, and it features one of my most favorite notes ever. That is called. Narcissus and I can actually smell it in the opening which is very exciting and I'm very glad about it and it features other notes of bergamot, mandarin and damask rose, middle notes are orchid, orange blossom, jasmine, helotrope and wild blossom honey and in the base we have ambergris, 
sandalwood and myrrh. So I feel that this fragrance is made for positive, energizing and very emotional persons who want their perfume to be as bright as they are. So I would say that this is pretty unisex perfume, maybe a little bit more on the feminine side. And that is, guys, basically it for this review. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And I also want to mention one more thing, and that is Christiana offers one of the most luxurious things ever, and that is scented body lotions, shower gels and candles. And these are scented with all these fragrances. And I just think people who can afford, you know, like perfumed shower gels and candles or body lotions, they can actually afford luxury because it is such a great thing. You know, uh, for example, a uh, perfumed body lotion is, a, is very different from perfume because it is really nice when you can afford, um, you know, high quality niche fragrance, but when you can afford additionally shower gels, body lotions and candles, that is just another level. Because body lotion um, is something different. You, you apply it directly on your skin and it blends with the scent of your skin, creating the most magical aroma. And the same goes uh, with shower gels. You know, you're showering and then you get out of the shower and you just smell like you have applied perfume. It's amazing. So I personally would love to have a a body lotion with the scent of bee because if I had a uh, bee in the perfume form I wouldn't wear it as much probably but body lotion oh my god I would adore that so yeah that is basically it that I wanted to say uh, please make sure that you check out the description box because I will leave a link to the official website where you can purchase all these fragrances and other products and yeah if you enjoyed watching this review then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this i cannot wait to share with you other amazing niche perfume houses and yeah stay tuned for that and we will see each other in my next video bye